Well, one week from today, people across the country will see day turn into night as a solar eclipse passes through North America. And while we will only experience a partial eclipse here in North Georgia, uh, and excuse me, here in the metro rather, in North Georgia, uh, people in places like Texas and Ohio will see a total eclipse as the moon blocks that entire sun. It's going to be a really cool sight to see Absolutely. for a lot of people. And our chief meteorologist, Chris Holcomb, introduces us to some Georgia Tech students who are willing to go the distance to make sure they get the full experience this time around. On Monday, April 8th, a total solar eclipse will cut a path across the United States. That path of totality will go through Mexico first, then into Texas, then the Midwest, and then up to the Northeast. The path of totality is the prime spot to see when the moon travels between the Earth and the sun. In Georgia, we aren't in the path of totality, but we will have a partial eclipse. About 80 to 85 percent of the sun will be blocked here. But for some astronomy students at Georgia Tech, that's not enough. We've been talking about it since probably at least a year ago. We've had a trip planned. Um, so the club will be going to Missouri um, to be in totality. Ethan Atkinson is the president of the Astronomy Club at Georgia Tech. He was in high school in 2017 when the path of totality clipped northeast Georgia. He was in Savannah. It was cloudy that day, unfortunately. They still like, they took us outside and we had glasses and everything, but you couldn't see. I couldn't even really tell that it got dark. So I was really disappointed by that. Georgia Tech student Corinne Hill has a similar story. In 2017, it rained at her location. I tried to see it before, but I wasn't able to see totality. Last semester, we were able to see a partial annular eclipse, but a total solar eclipse is beautiful. The entire sun is blocked out. You can only see the corona. And I want to be able to see that with my own eyes. 50 people associated with Georgia Tech's Astronomy Club will load a bus and drive to Missouri to experience this rare event. If you want to travel to the path of totality, the shortest drive is 382 miles from Atlanta to Paducah, Kentucky. It'll take you roughly five hours and 47 minutes. If you decide to stay in Atlanta, you'll still get a chance to see the partial eclipse. It begins at 1.45 in the afternoon on April 8th. It'll be at maximum eclipse here, covering all but a little sliver of the sun at 3.04 in the afternoon. The eclipse will end at 4.21 p.m. And so Melissa and I are under a lot of pressure right now because yes. the forecast is going to be critical for that day as to whether or not we will have any type of clouds that will block it out or anything. Mm -hmm. So we'll be watching that for you closely. And if you miss this one, the next time a total eclipse crosses our country will be in 2045. Oh, wow. So you understand why people are making this yeah. an event. Yeah. Exactly, yes. Yeah. Wow. And it just can take, you know, it's at two to four minutes. You're in totality. That's that critical time. But forecasting that a week out, I mean, that is... Nearly impossible. Mm -hmm. One thing we can say, it's a great thing that today is not the eclipse day. Exactly, yes. Uh, 